Hey, thanks for clicking. This is Joe Fritz, and uh, I've got my Mod Podge out because I'm going to do some arts and graphs for you. <laughs> for this project, uh, I wanted to kind of uh, recreate one of my uh, favorite images from the uh, indie game uh, Night in the Woods. Um, there's uh, like a journal page that has um, Greg on it, and it just says Greg rules okay, and uh, really kind of stuck with me, and uh, I wanted to kind of recreate it on a canvas. So I'm starting out with this Mod Podge. Uh, Mod Podge is basically just kind of a thicker Elmer's glue. Um, it works a lot like Elmer's glue. I'm not exactly sure what it's made of, but it's a, it, it looks and feels a lot like Elmer's glue when you're working with it. And uh, rather than just draw all those pesky lines on the page, I'm just going to take a piece of notebook paper and I'm going to slap it right on there. Now this is an 8x10 canvas, um, which incidentally is about the same size as a sheet of paper. Just a little bit smaller. So I'm just going to smooth out the edges. And it should stick around the corner, around the edges. The corners are a bit tricky, but we'll go we'll go through there and uh, cut them off with an exacto knife. That's no big deal. And you know, I like it being a little rough like this. Um, you may want to uh, you know even it out more, but that's fine. I like it kind of looking a little rough. It looks a little punk rock. Um, <laughs> here I am cutting the uh, corners off, um, and you know any any bits of paper that didn't stick to the glue. I just don't want them to snag on anything. I want it to look nice and streamlined. And of course a plane has to fly overhead while I'm recording this. Anyways, I'll try not to comment on any weird noises. And here we are with the uh, stencil now. There's only one stencil for this, this one. I want to do a simple one. It's been a while since I got into painting. Um, so I weigh it down with the coins and uh, I also pull out this stick here you can see and I'm holding down some strategic areas that I don't want to fly up while I'm spray painting because the um, spray paint will actually will actually force parts of the stencil up and that's what the coins are for in the first place but uh, for areas too small to put a coin to weigh it down there you go also taking some white paint here and adding a little bit of texture uh, on the uh, in the actual game, it looks like it was scribbled on with a uh, pen, so I wanted to kind of recreate that effect. And part of that is adding that texture there. Um, I'm also going to go in with some paint pen and uh, basically just um, make it look like the scribbled on lines, like it is in the game. So I'm just you can barely see it, but uh, I am adding kind of just little spots of white, little gaps, like like the lines were just kind of scribbled. And um, it's kind of ironic that I'm using uh, a pen to make it look like it's scribbled on, when I might have been able to just scribble this on the page. Of course, that would have taken a lot longer, um, and I like to do things quick and fast. But uh, I still had a lot of fun doing this, so and that's all that matters. And Greg rules. So, there he is. <laughs> so, uh, coming up is the finished piece. There it is. And I also want to show you this glamour shots uh, with my new lighting. Thanks, and go put some cups on your ears.